Good evening. Today is the 6th of July 2022. Welcome to the Prime Time News here on TV1 for the News First team where the people come first. I'm Sanita Sena Nayaka. Before we take a look at the stories in detail, let's take a look at the headlines. Nirnika protests opposite the President's house demanding a resignation. <laughs> Tear gas fired at SJB farmers in Colombo. <laughs> Refinery trade unions stopped with tear gas and water cannons. Finance minister must resign. Dambika tells Ranil, Resign, I am ready. Anura challenges Ranil. Sajid continues efforts to form an all-party government. Fuel shipments to be delayed. Minister Kanchana reveals in Parliament. Scuffles at Wallavaya fuel queue. 13 arrested. Main sponsor. Earn the highest interest rate of 21% for four months fixed deposits. LB Yasaisuru. On to your top story this evening. Hironika Premachandra led a protest opposite the President's house in Colombo this morning, demanding President Gotabe Rajapaksha to resign immediately. Twelve people, including Premachandra, were arrested and later granted police bail and released. <laughs> Hirunika Premachandra and former chairman of the Valigama Urban Council, Rehan Javikrama, led a group in a protest opposite the President's house in Colombo this morning, demanding Gotabe Rajpaksa's resignation. Security forces closed the gates leading to the President's house, preventing the protesters from getting close to the premises. <laughs> Hirunika Premachandra's repeated requests to meet with the president were turned down by security personnel. Another group supporting Hirunika Premachandra was also protesting at the roadblock placed at Chatham Street and Sri Lanka police did not permit them to go beyond the roadblock. While all this was ongoing, security personnel prevented journalists from obtaining footage from the gates leading to the president's house from the central bank and this led to a heated exchange. While Hirunika Premachandra and several others were protesting opposite the president's house, a group of police officers arrived at the scene and placed them under arrest. <laughs> Subsequently, the police officers took away Hirnika Premachandra, Rehan Javikrama and the others to the Colombo Harbour Police. Hirnika Premachandra's husband rushed through the Colombo Harbour Police to support his wife and several lawyers too were present to appear on behalf of Premachandra. Opposition leader Sajid Premadasa and other parliamentarians representing the Samagi Janabala Vegya were also seen extending their support to Hirnika Premachandra. 
Tarama police here kisi ma there was no reason for the police to arrest us we were not given any reason and were not shown a warrant i was not assaulted but i was carried to a bus they used profanity to push us inside the bus i am stunned by the conduct of the intelligence services i decided to proceed to the president's house several days ago we walked past this place in various disguises they were not aware that we used our vehicles they don't even know where we were staying idi adun eda gena me wate karakuna ayagolo danne ne api wahana walin giya ayagolo danne ne api koye koye din navidila hiti gela ayagolo danne ne while hirunika premachandra was leading a protest opposite the president's house the samagi jana balavege farmers movement was also leading a protest on chatham street The Sri Lanka police fired tear gas and water cannons to disperse the protest organized by the Samagi Govi Balavegia that attempted to proceed to the president's office via Chatham Street in Colombo. These farmers here today are not protesting because they can afford to come here. Farmers from Anuradhapura and Polonnaruwa couldn't make it because of the train strike. A few farmers from Kurunagala somehow made it here. They are here to complain to the president about destroying agriculture. Gotabe Rajpaksa is afraid and he said hiding. His guards attacked us. Gotabe ke pura bate hoti ka mura bal hoti ka. Passersby's were also affected by the repeated tear gas attacks on protesters. Utara kanu gaya sudu mana? Kisi ma kisi ma umana anna dua. Me bana gano? Me me sena gano tera? Bala me dikar hara gano? Auda isha hota garan ne? Me ke na apke ne? Me 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 kisi ma me gano dua? Par wahan okko me ano? Wahan musia gano beth gano bilo din? Me bala me punji daru ek? Punji daru ek? Oh punji daru ek daru na? Beno ne as okko ma? Punji daru ek as okko ma nanna tarai? Beno me tera tera? Oi me sena gano asse? Gano tarai kanu gaya? अरे गाना गाते लगे स्पेन वाले अन्ना अरे बस चला सामान है मिनट सू अरे सामान है मेरे मेरे तेरे तेरे का ओ पुलिसिया पुलिसिया The Samagi Govi Balavegia made their way to Colombo to file a fundamental rights application with the Supreme Court seeking an order on the government officers to act on the cabinet decision to compensate mass season crop damages. After filing the application, the group marched from the Supreme Court complex to the president's office via Olcott Mawatha in Colombo. Sri Lanka police also fired tear gas and water cannons to disperse the third group of protesters. This time, it was near the parliament complex. The Sri Lanka police fired tear gas and water cannons on trade unions that marched to the parliamentary complex, demanding that the Sapakaskanda oil refinery be reactivated. We can produce over 14,000 liters of jet fuel. One liter is priced over one US dollar, and the payment is made in US dollars. So, will it not assist gas and crude imports? This will allow us to generate 1.4 million US dollars a day. However, they are planning to sell this portion off to their friends via a cabinet paper. This is a national crime. That is why these trade unions that rarely come together have joined hands against these acts.
Before heading to Parliament Access Road, the group also protested at the Sapagaskanda oil refinery that was supported by the people of Biagama. <laughs> Sri Lanka's public transport is grinding to a halt as the country's economic crisis deepens and thousands clinging on to dear life to make it safely to their workplaces. As the labor unions fought to defend the refinery, this is how the people arrived in Colombo this morning. A limited number of trains were operated as employees could not report for work due to the fuel shortage. This was the situation at Panadura this morning. This was the situation at Kalania. These are the office workers that came to Colombo today putting their lives on the line. The fuel crisis caused by the shortage of foreign exchange has severely impacted the Sri Lankan society, worsening the country's economic woes. This has resulted in scuffles and ugly confrontations between locals and authorities as many wait in line for fuel. Ugly scenes broke out at a filling station in Bellavaya last night where people already waiting in kilometers long snaking queues outside pumps were told that the filling station had run out of fuel. One police officer was injured in the clashes that broke out. Sri Lanka police arrested 13 people over the clash and they were remanded until next Tuesday after they were produced in court. Police also seized 20 motorcycles owned by those arrested for unruly conduct. The filling station in Kandale received a petrol delivery last evening. Unfortunately, it was not sufficient for everyone who was in line and this led to a heated exchange. Our correspondent said that the filling station was attacked with stones. A tense scene developed at the Lanka IOC filling station in Anuradhapura as a result of the villagers forming a new queue for fuel, while hundreds were already waiting in separate queues for fuel. According to our correspondent, the Sri Lanka army was called in to control the situation. An uneasy situation broke out at the Lanka IOC filling station in Mavanel. This was because officials from the cooperative's body that owns the filling station rushed to obtain fuel after word spread that the delivery was on its way. The formation of a new queue, while a queue for fuel already existed, led to ugly exchanges at a Lanka IOC filling station in Bibila. Angry locals also obstructed the Bibila Badulla main road. In the Colombo district, similar exchanges led to attacks on vehicles. It was reported that a car parked near the Polvatta filling station in Pandipitiya and a man were attacked by a group. Reports suggested that the man had voiced his objection when a three-wheel driver attempted to jump the queue, claiming that he was a local. The man was attacked and later admitted to the Homagama base hospital. Two men were arrested for verbally harassing a police officer and workers who were carrying out their duties at a filling station in Galgamur. Diesel was finally distributed to the Nindavur IOC filling station in Ampara after 15 days today. Distribution began at 8 a.m. and by 11 a.m. it was announced that the stocks were over. 
நாங்க இப்ப பதினாலு நாள் அந்த டீசல் பம்புக்கு வந்து நிக்கும் தூக்கம் இல்ல நிம்மதி இல்ல Sri Lanka is in urgent need of fuel and according to what was said in parliament the government is prepared to even pay a premium for fuel imports The first consignment of fuel we received from IOC is set to arrive in Sri Lanka by the 22nd or the 23rd of this month. That is the only confirmation we have got so far. A representative of the Malaysian Premier presented us with a proposal where we could receive a fuel consignment between the 10th and the 15th, but they could not finalize a delivery date with the Petronas organization. Not a single other supplier has been able to provide us with a fuel consignment that could arrive in Sri Lankan shores before the 22nd. A committee of pointed by the cabinet gave us the green light to order from a foreign entity that could provide us fuel before the 13th but there is a slight issue with this consignment we are going to have to purchase it at a premium rate we are left with no other option because no other proposals were presented the only other company that accepted our order is charging us a premium anyhow the working committee has approved this purchase but some people are politicizing this they are claiming we are receiving a commission out of this they are trying to send a wrong message to the public now these organizations don't want to work with us anymore this is a major issue me anum api laba denna kadu karanne e samagam walta bara padal prashnayak bara patila tiyena kela man metumata kiwwa premium ekak onnang i informed the minister if they are willing to provide the fuel on time let them even charge 50 us dollars compared to 40 us dollars because we don't have a single fuel consignment coming our way at the moment but these politicians are trying to stop the only ship that's coming our way at one point they're screaming at the top of their lungs saying there's no fuel on the other hand they are accusing us of looting someone please tell me how are we to carry this forward like this One of my schoolmates, who was two years senior to me, died at a filling station in Boralla. The Prime Minister might not even know him. After all, we all went to the same school. I am not sure if the Prime Minister is aware of this, but fuel prices dropped by more than 10% in the world market. The price of fuel must be at least 10% less in comparison to previous prices, regardless of who you are buying it from. Both Manush and Anayakara and Harin Fernando misled both the parliament and the people as well. They told a blatant lie that a fuel tank will arrive in Sri Lankan shores on the 10th or 11th. Now the minister in charge is saying that is not the case. We can only think of getting a fuel tanker somewhere around the 13th. First they said the fuel tanker is not coming on the 23rd. Then they said it's coming tomorrow. You didn't have the facts. You came forward and you lied to the public. You said you will provide solutions once you take over. Andhra Kumar Disanayaka said yesterday he is not going to take the position. Score me as much as you want, but give me a straight answer. इतने पासे वाक्य देखा कि इम्मा टा पीने तुरु देन्ने। मिस्टर बीन के तत्ते होता है वो तुम्हारे विपक्षी बन्ने में पुटी वाड़ी लाई ना। वो तुम्हारे दम मिस्टर बीन बन्दे पा। वो तुम्हारे टे गरु कटे तो आगे में तिवर है। हरेन प्रणाम में तुम्हारे क्यों दहावे इन्ना इन्दर। What Minister Harin Fernando told was that fuel will be supplied continuously from the 10th. You have misunderstood it as five fuel shipments coming on the 10th. I don't think we can even dock five fuel vessels in our port. There is nothing wrong in Minister Harin's speech. President Gotabaya Rajapaksha said he had a very productive telephone conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Taking to his official Twitter account, the president requested an offer of credit support to import fuel to Sri Lanka in defeating the current economic challenges. President Rajapaksa has also requested to restart aeroflot operations in Sri Lanka. The two leaders have unanimously agreed that strengthening bilateral relations in sectors such as tourism, trade and culture is paramount in reinforcing the friendship between the two nations. 
a fuel crisis that has put a nation in standstill. The common man not only spends hours but days in queues waiting for fuel. Fuel has become a luxury that many can't seem to afford. Amidst such a crisis, is cycling the future of Sri Lankan transportation? In the light of the fuel crisis that Sri Lanka is facing, people are left with no option but to get rid of four wheels and grab a bike ride. Sri Lanka will add dedicated cycling lanes to its road network to encourage commuters to cycle to work, officials said, as the island nation battles a worsening economic crisis compounded by a forex shortage. Environment Minister Mahinda Maravira presented an initiative to add dedicated cycling lanes to the cabinet, but he says that it was proposed with the environmental concerns in mind rather than any fuel shortage or price hike. Amidst the current backdrop, many people are starting to purchase bikes, which has resulted in a high demand of bicycles. However, the prices of bicycles too have spiked up drastically. Sri Lankans are sandwiched between spending days at fuel queues, struggling to commute with less stooks and cabs on streets, and overcrowded public transportation. Cycling to work is now slowly becoming the new normal in Sri Lanka as people are now tending to cycle to work by uh, leaving their vehicles at home simply because they don't have fuel and they're spending days and days in fuel queues. Will cycling be the new future of Sri Lanka? Yes, cycling is the future for Sri Lanka. It is better that politicians who are now awakened from the slumber uh, rather than saying, you know, we must all get into cycling, they must also understand that these cyclists should be uh, recognized as part and partial of the road users. So, are they prepared to do that? If they are not, then we, there's nobody uh, going to go on cycle for as a mode of transport and travel because they are not protected properly. The bicycle prices have gone up. Uh, it's a matter of uh, supply and demand. Also, the government has mismanaged the economy and due to that uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, constraints for the importer. Businessman also has a responsibility not to capitalize on situations. Main sponsor. Earn the highest interest rate of 21% for four months fixed deposits. LB Yasaisuro. मुदलाकल Newly sworn Minister Dammika Pereira wants Ranil Vikramasinghe to resign from the post of Finance Minister for delaying dollar earning avenues. Sri Lanka's Finance Minister plan for disaster. The Minister of Finance has a no plan appetite to resolve the current dollar crisis. All of Sri Lanka's economic challenges are linked to the dollar crisis. The Finance Minister plan to borrow money from friends. The Minister of Finance has no future cash flow planning for the country future of minister the the further the minister delay all the matters related to the dollar earnings borrowing bridging finance available credit lines and essential good credit lines i think the for this reason the minister of finance should resign dammika pereira also challenged vikram singh to a debate A month ago, we obtained cabinet approval for multiple visa and 10 years multiple visa. It's been held for a month in the treasury because he has a habit. If dollars come, that project should be stopped. More than 50 people have been here putting in hundreds of thousands of dollars, and to get the visa, 300 more are waiting in line. That means even when we can bring 30 million dollars to the country within this month, they are not doing anything. So I will not allow them to do such things to this country. From here on, I will also support. 
support this struggle because by being here or by talking like this we cannot solve the problems of the people i think for this reason the minister of finance should resign i will come to an open media debate with his 10 economic experts ask him to answer if possible because i will not allow him to destroy this country i challenge him i am ready i will do this without a single paper i did it at the hilton in 2019 he ran away even then i will challenge him again for a debate kanala diwa mama ai abhi o kanwa enna kiyala maget ekka e wagema debate ekak Dhamika Perera's statements made it to Parliament today, and here's how the Prime Minister responded. Main 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 dhanga wa WhatsApp pe ka Dhamika Perera amati varay kiyal dino abo tumar nila sen kiyal. Abo tumar main wedan nello. Main 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 baland Dhamika Perera kiyal abo tumar nila sen nai kiyal. Abo tumar ekal vitu filu tu rathe. Ha kaman ne dham baland ne abo tumar ke prashno kama anbe hitiya wa ke filu tu rathe ne abo tumar anbe hitiya wa ke saale kua. Dham tau piyo re dekha yen ne diye ne. Opposition leader Sajid Pemedasu is continuing his efforts to form an all-party government to face off the crisis. Opposition leader Sajid Pemedasu held another round of talks in parliament to form an all-party government. Parliamentarians representing the Samagi Jana Balavega and its coalition parties, Sri Lanka Freedom Party, the TNA, parliamentarian CV Vigneswaran and MPs from nine independent groups including the National Freedom Front were present at the meeting. A consensus was reached by the parties to form a committee to look into all possible ways of establishing a lawful all-party government to provide immediate solutions to the people's woes. In addition, it was also agreed to appoint a political committee and an economic committee representing all opposition political leaders. He took over the responsibilities as finance minister and prime minister as if he had 4 or 5 billion dollars in his pocket. He acted like he is going to wipe away all queues in 48 hours. But where are his solutions? It doesn't matter if it is an all party government or a single party government or a multi party government. What the president and the 225 members of parliament should do is solve the issues faced by our people. The opposition is now ready to form an all party government that will work according to a clear vision to solve these issues faced by our people. JVP leader Anur Kumar Desanayak responded to Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe's challenge to accept the post of Premier. I am ready to accept the Prime Minister's proposal if he is ready to resign. We are not magicians, but we can eliminate the shortage of gas, fuel, and medicine, and reopen schools and offices within a short period. That will not be done by me or my party alone. I believe the people would support it. However, neither Ranil Wickremesinghe nor I can be in that post for more than six months. We need to revive the living conditions and call for elections. Following the election, we can establish a government. That government can then deal with the serious issues. We are the key activity in the Gamburtu ma kada ve tiving gora ganna pulu angkam tiving. Abhyamak tera abhyamak yoga ganna pulu ma ayu lakhamin ganna yoga niyam. Nichra dekhi matte deshe paale hamne ta apni nee rajya rajya kiya kar chala. Apni dekho na ke liye bohot dumaa isparan ne apni kaana bohot. We are witnessing the result of their type of governance. We are starting to see the aftermath of the destruction Ranil and the Rajapaksas have brought upon our country over a considerable period of time. Ranil Wickremesinghe can only wreak more havoc. ISPs are the greatest source of debt for our country. We have 15.5 billion dollars worth of debt in ISPs. 12 billion of it was obtained by Ranil Wickremesinghe. Ranil Wickremesinghe. Those are projects. Will the people have faith in people like Maithri Palasiri Sena, Rajita, Kiriyal? This parliament should have a cabinet that we can agree on. Apat ekke kangu vina cabinet mandala kapade pito gatay. Tumha dang inna agamati si na ekke la kawal ti wote. Apu apu mali mitan. Kublo mitan apige. Mo kawada te gan e mimbing api mani ni pagal mangara. Yamu kisi dia da. Nawa agamati vare kai pat karena ando kala. If any faction does establish such a government, they must notify us of their timeline and the program they formulate. If that is done, we will support them from the opposition for that limited period. These are the views expressed by MP Vimal Veeravansa today.
Now the government itself is saying that they cannot be satisfied with the practice of the Prime Minister of the government. Those outside the government say that they cannot be satisfied with the President's practice. At least the new Prime Minister has not been able to secure the trust even among the cabinet of the government he is in. An all-party intervention and leadership is essential in order to establish a minimum agreement and to implement that agreement with minimum programs. Even if the biggest millionaire in Sri Lanka is brought in and given a ministry, no matter what he does, without giving this comprehensive answer, it will not become a complete answer. There will be no confidence in the people of this country. In the same way, it will not be possible to confirm gaining international trust as well without implementing that answer. Indian External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jai Shankar has said that in the last eight years, Prime Minister Narendra Modi always advocated for neighborhood first policy and has stepped up in assisting Sri Lanka, which is facing an economic crisis. Participating in a discussion titled Modi at 20 Dreams Meet Delivery in New Delhi, Dr. Jay Shankar said the vision of the Modi government is towards development and prosperity of the entire neighborhood. You saw Sri Lanka is in difficulties right now. We have stepped forward uh, to assist them. So this whole idea of India actually as a lifting tide which is able to lift the entire neighborhood and a lot of it is human, you know. We would like to see students, we would like to see uh, medical tourists, we would like to see normal tourists uh, between us. And we are among the least connected regions of the world. And we are all losing out because of that. And that's something Prime Minister is determined, absolutely determined to transfer. And he ranks it very, very high in his priority. While many Sri Lankans can still afford rice for their means, despite the worsening crisis, families in Panduasnur have been forced to switch from rice to just breadfruit and sambal. Gum at the relief packages were delivered to needy families living in the Malwatta and Oligama villages in Kurunagala. When our teams visited these villages, locals were seen preparing meals with just only jackfruit. Gamedha also delivered relief packages to the people in Iradavila Chilau who lost their homes due to coastal erosion. These homes are mostly empty and occupied by sand. Gamedha made it a point to deliver relief packages to the people in Monoragala as well. The poverty-stricken families in villages now have renewed hope with these relief packages from Gamedha. And we are always grateful to the Sri Lankans who step forward to support their fellow men and women in need. In more local news, a man from Digana climbed onto a post attached to high voltage electricity cables to protest. Later, this man was rescued by personnel attached to the Ceylon Electricity Board and was rushed to the Teldeni Hospital for treatment. The inmate who died at the Kandakaru Treatment and Rehabilitation Centre in Polonarwa was laid to rest in Uduwara Haliala today. Locals obstructed the main road with the remains of the inmate and demanded justice to be served. 
ಕಥೆ ಪಾರಗಳ People from Malian have protested by blocking the Badul Lakala Mumain Road from the Uduwara 7th mile post demanding justice for the inmate who died at the Kandakadu Treatment and Rehabilitation Centre in Polonnaruwa. Police was called in to control the situation. Following discussions with the police, the last rites of the deceased inmate were conducted at the Haliyala Uduwara estate. The post-mortem examination on the inmate who died at the Kandakar Treatment and Rehabilitation Center in Polonnaruwa revealed that injuries inflicted all over his body by a blunt weapon had resulted in internal complications leading to his death. <laughs> A delegation representing the Gaul Face protest site met the chairman of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party and former president Maitri Palasiri Sena. Attention has been focused on the action plan presented by the activists of the Gota Gogama struggle. Gaul Face Saragala Garu Vidira, the Nilakanda Yamak Metenta in the Hate Ua, Venakisima de Akneme, Namvedida Sri Lanka Venavade, Kana Api Ia Danuatkara, Mevela Vipaksha Vidia, Vipaksha Kalayu to Karebare Mokak the Gela, Vipaksha Valta Avadar Nekal Lanasa, Terun Kaladi Lana Tamaya Piave. අපි සමස්ත විපක්ෂයටම තමයි කතා කරන්නේ පක්ෂ වෙන වෙනම සාකච්ඡා කිරීමක් නැහැ. ඉතින් අපි පැහැදිලිවම කිව්වා We clearly said that we as the Sri Lanka Freedom Party will have a special meeting tomorrow with the proposals presented by them. We had discussion there. In the end it was decided on how we will join their program. එකතු වෙන්න කියන තීරණය ලබා දෙන්න කියන එක තමයි අවසානයේ තීරණය උනේ. එළමනේ නමින්ද ශ්‍රී ලංකා නිකාය පක්ෂයේ ඔබතුමාලා කොහොමද මොනද? අපි සම්බන්ධ සාකච්ඡා කරනවා ඉතාම ඉක්මනින් දවසක් විතර දුත් අපිට we are not calling anyone to commit any illegal activity. If you refer to the verdict made by Justice Mark Fernando in the famous Janagosha case, he clearly highlights the people's right to protest in a democratic manner. And he further says that if you try to suppress this right, it would lead to a tragic situation. The government can no longer pass any bill that allows emergency regulations. Knowing that they cannot pass this bill and still if they enforce emergency regulations, it can be regarded as a breach of the law. And if you try to suppress this people's lawful protest, we as a legal fraternity of the country will definitely file action against you. The Sangha will gather near the bow tree in Peta to commence a Satyagraha that would end only when we win the people's struggle. It does not matter if we have to sacrifice our lives here. We will end it only when we win this struggle. Not only Gotabe but Ranil should also go. We do not believe that Ranil has any right to be in the position of Prime Minister and majority of people in our country do not believe as well. So we believe that all people-friendly forces should come together and move towards a common goal. Justice will never be served in this country without them leaving. Gota Gogama. The Gota Gogama people's struggle showed us how we can come together as one family and educate ourselves on removing a government from power politically. We welcome you again to come together and create that family within this people's struggle. While the people are, are suffering in queues for months just to purchase a cylinder of cooking gas, an allegation has been drawn towards the government for cancelling a tender that was already presented to a supplier that can provide cooking gas at a low cost and then trying to purchase gas from a company at a higher price. The relevant authorities were called to the COP committee yesterday for their response to these claims. 
May we see how thin the pit never to what our work CM gas secretary on the 27th of May Lito gas wrote back to CM gas to provide us with 15,000 metric tons of gas during the month of June as they were our alternate supplier then we also requested Oman gas to provide us with 15,000 metric tons of gas responding to this request CM company said that they can only provide 6,600 metric tons of gas during the month of June then Oman gas making a counter offer said that they can provide us this if we are ready to place an order for 100,000 under the same price they placed for the tender which is 129. What we want here is to utilize the funds we are receiving from the World Bank to buy gas for our innocent citizens. It is your duty to represent the state in this deal. What your company is doing here is that you are placing an order which that company cannot provide within a month and then you reject that tender. Prime Minister of Visegi. Gramatic Karel in the Bank Cabinet Paper Gadani. Cabinet take a Nomagavi, Wadakima, a Gramat to Reva and Dun. Make at Anumati, then Nicola Riju Samagama, Nam Carlatino. Cabinet take a Nomagavi, Santa, a Gramat to Manamagavatino. Heard it. A Gramat to Tuma, a Comea, a Nomagavatino. Emnatama, Gramat to Matmea, a Tokum, Danuatulatama, a Nasti, Vinniki, Nakama, Yodanakar, Nashama, Chodanakar, and Mudalamate. It was Mudalamati, Venasunaki, Mudalamata, Genda Venasulane, Dalamata, and Yapatra Venasulane. Economy and Yapatri, may Arbu de Pavichel, Missing Kandulu Pavichel, Udgoja Pavichel, Vadi Milata, Gas Gun. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Prime Time News here on TV1. For more details on these stories, you can log on to our website that is www.newsfirst.lk. For the News First team, I've been Semita Sena Naika. Take care and stay safe.